Now let's take a look at the space traffic of the week and see what's coming up next week in spaceflight. This was a rather quiet week for launches, with only a single Starlink launch in the last week. Liftoff took place on July 8th at 0821 UTC from Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida. The mission was carrying 28 Starlink V2 mini satellites into low Earth orbit. With this mission, the number of Starlink satellites that SpaceX has launched into orbit now rises to 9,165. Of these, 1,197 have re-entered Earth's atmosphere and 7,028 have moved into their operational orbits. Despite having just one single launch, in space we had a space station arrival and another space station departure. After launching from Kazakhstan last week on July 3rd at 1932 UTC, the Progress MS-31 spacecraft docked to the Poisk module at the International Space Station on July 5th at 2125 UTC. The spacecraft, loaded with three tons of fuel, water, hardware and experiments, will now remain docked to the station for about six months. After having spent eight months at the Tiangong space station, the Tianzhou 8 cargo spacecraft undocked from the aft docking port of the Tiana core module on July 8th at 0709 UTC. Filled with several tons of waste, the spacecraft was disposed of and deorbited later the same day at 2246 Universal Time. That undocking was to open up a port to allow for the Tianzhou 9 cargo spacecraft, which is set to launch next week. That launch is currently looking like it may happen on July 14th at around 2040 Universal Time. Next week, we'll also have a couple of Starlink launches from Vandenberg. We're also expecting a pair of customer missions riding on two different Falcon 9 launches from Florida. One of the launches is, helpfully, still not confirmed, but it may be carrying the Israeli communications satellite called Doror-1 into geosynchronous transfer orbit. The other customer launch will be for none other than a Starlink competitor, Amazon's Project Kuiper. As always, you can expect NSF to be covering these launches live on our channel and also after the fact in our next space traffic report. In the Southern Hemisphere, Australian launch company Gilmore Space will try to finally launch its Eris rocket next week. The next launch opportunity will hopefully take place as soon as July 15th at 2130 UTC. Up next, the Axiom 4 crew is gearing up for its return to Earth. Crew Dragon Grace and its crew of four are set to depart the International Space Station as early as July 14th at 11.05 UTC. Splashdown off the coast of California could happen approximately 22 hours after that, depending on orbital mechanics. These dates and times are as ever very fluid, so to stay on top of each and every one of them, don't forget to check out the next Spaceflight website and app to not miss any of these events. I've been Ryan Caton for NSF, thanks for watching and goodbye.